<laughs> well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. As you can see, I'm solo today. Uh, Spencer had to work. He has to work a lot of days in December. But we are here at Downtown Disney today because they have launched the mobile in-store payment through your Disneyland app. So, this is a really good option if you, you know, don't want to make contact with the register or anything like that. And the best part is, if you're an annual pass holder and your payment card and annual pass is connected to your app, you'll still be able to get your discount. So, we're gonna go in and uh, check it out in the world of Disney and see what it's like. Okay, I am going to wait in line. I feel like the sign for me stands for oh, 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 I want a churro really badly. I just got into World of Disney and I have opened my Disneyland app. Really funny because I rarely open this anymore nowadays. It's slightly depressing, but we are going to go to the plus sign here. We're gonna hit shop in store. As it says right there, it's now testing. We're gonna select World of Disney as that's where we are. And then as we go through the store, we're gonna scan the item. But first we're gonna tell a cast member so that we can get the clear bag that is designated for the shopping experience. Thank you. So right here is the QR code um, that'll help you to download and open the app if you don't have it already. You can just scan that right there and it's taken care of for you. Thank you, QR codes. So if you do not see the big signs right there, if you look throughout the store, you will also see smaller QR codes. And not to worry, but if you fill a bag and you need another bag, you can do as many bags as you want. And then once we've kind of scanned and filled our items in our bag that we're gonna purchase, uh, I love that this is an excuse to shop, by the way. Uh, once we do that, then we will show you where the one exit uh, kiosk is located on the other side of the store. So, let's get shopping. Here's a good example of something that might not fit in this bag. Well, maybe it would, but uh, these are newer spirit jerseys. I've not see the, seen these before. This kind of reminds me of Harold a little bit from the Matterhorn. I like this one too. But again, you could always get multiple bags if something doesn't fit. All right, we're not even in the middle room and I've already found a few more QR codes. Here's one right here over this brand new sweater. Isn't that cute? That's a knitted sweater and it has the Disneyland classic logo on it as well as this adorable castle on the side while we're shopping. I also noticed this other really cute sweater and this really cute sweater. Things I really want to buy. We also have these really cute new flannel shirts. We have Mickey Mouse, Goofy saying hello from Frontierland, really cute Minnie Mouse. And it looks like Pluto <laughs> saying Main Street. That's cute and I love that they have the corresponding colors for the flannel and the character. Well, not so much in the Mickey and Goofy version here, but it still works. And there's a cute way to dress it up if you're wearing your Pluto flannel. And every time we're in the World of Disney store, we have to watch the cute little train go by but I noticed something really special from across the room. Tell me when you notice it. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> I love that. Oh. Because I can't go crazy shopping and I need to save some money for Walt Disney World, I think I'm gonna get a hand sanitizer. Now, you may be thinking, man, $9.99, that's a lot. I'm not gonna debate you, that is a lot. However, I think you can refill this. That's kind of what I'm going off of. So, 
maybe it won't be that much of a waste of money. Plus that, how can you argue with this cute face? Really? I can't say no to you, Mickey. And as I was saying this, I just realized it definitely is refillable because you can unscrew it and put uh, whatever hand sanitizer you want in it. So I think what I'm gonna do is get one for Spencer and get one for myself. We have the classic Mickey. Little mini right here, look how cute she is. I love this. And oh, <laughs> if it isn't our favorite duck. Mr. Donald. And over here we have Pluto. You know, the fact that these are so cute makes me want to collect all of them, but I know I can't. Okay, what's down here? Oh, look, we have Stitch. Love that. We have Ariel right here. It's just the silhouette of her, but I love that aqua green color. And look what I found. <gasps> It's a small world. Look at that. Now the only thing I'm worried about is this falling off or getting dirty. Because I do have to think about, I'll be attaching this to something and it'll likely get, you know, get kind of scuffed up and dirty and we don't want that. Seems like this is a really popular one because there's only like a few left if you could see back there. There's like a cute little bow on it, lots of dots. I wonder how sturdy this is and hope that not fall off. And as you saw on the top, we have the cute little chocolate Mickey ice cream and looks like strawberry Minnie Mouse ice cream. Now that's just a little too big and bulky for me. Same with this one, it's a very plain Mickey, very soft though, very soft covering there. And this is just adorable. Little teacups. <laughs> I love that. I do like the bottle on the other side. The fact that it has some decal on it is great. But I think ultimately, I'm gonna go basic and just get a Mickey and a Minnie for Spencer and I kind of feel like that's a, a good thing to get and then we can just refill them. Okay, here they are. They are cute. You really can't argue with just the simplicity of a Mickey and a Minnie Mouse. His and hers. Keychain hand sanitizers. I love these. So now we're gonna pull out our app and scan this. Now it'll be a little difficult because I only have my one hand, uh, but I'll figure it out. Okay. I have got our bag right here, which I've basically crumpled, crumpled or crumpled? I've crumpled it up because I've been just walking around the store looking at new stuff for a while. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out our app. So as you can see, it says our bag is en empty. We're going to scan an item, but let's take the barcode right here and scan it. And it says it's adding to bag. And there it is. Now, like I said before, it'll also include our annual pass discount. So now we got this scan. We're going to place it in the bag. Time for the Mickey one. And I'm gonna try and do this a little closer for you. So we just hit to scan another item. This is so hard to do like this, but I think we got it. There it is. Both items right there. So now I'm going to place it also in the bag. As you can see, I have my app open. I have a Mickey Mouse sanitizer and a Minnie Mouse, I'm assuming. That's how it works, but I'm not sure. Um, so if I wanted more items, I can keep adding, but I also do have my annual pass uploaded as well as my form of payment. So all I will need to do is check out and then it'll show my discount. All right, so we are in the last room directly across from Starbucks. And here is the place where we will do our mobile checkout. So I'm gonna show you how quick and painless this is gonna be. We're going to hit checkout. 
So there you can see with my discount, it is $7.99 each. Total with my discount right here. My card is uploaded above, but I'm just obviously not showing that. We are going to hit purchase. So now we have a code to show so that I can exit. So I'm gonna show that to the employee. Checking my items. They not verify your bag. Oh, and I get a sticker. There you go. You're good to go. Thank you for coming. This just made it ten times more awesome. The fact that I got a sticker. I am extremely pleased right now. Okay guys, that is going to wrap it up for today. I know that was a very, very short video, but you know, kind of wanted to keep it simple and to the point so you could quickly watch it before you go to World of Disney and do the mobile checkout option. Um, right now, it is only available in the World of Disney store here in downtown Disney. Um, I think eventually if it goes well, they'll start to, you know, put it in more places like Buena Vista Street and, you know, maybe other stores here in the downtown Disney district. Now, the one thing, if your annual pass is not uh, current, because I know there's a lot of fluctuations and stuff going on because of the whole situation, um, if your pass isn't uploaded on there, unfortunately, I don't think it'd be able to work. Um, that's something I think they're going to have to like kind of work on, you know, kind of work out the kinks on. So we'll see what happens. But uh, if you do have your annual pass uploaded to your app, then you're good. I would think maybe you can try scanning your app and seeing if that does anything. Again, I'm just not sure how that part of it will work. But even if this answered a few of your questions, then hey, you're good to go. So uh, here we are. And I'm telling you, just the little Mickey sticker. That's honestly like one of the best parts of this whole thing. Uh, so that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Missing Spencer as always, but he'll be back. Uh, if you liked this video and you found it helpful, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. And uh, we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye bye everybody.